guess what? The days finally came. I finally got the skyline running. I know it's been a long time going, but we finally got this thing started. Um, basically, we were doing some cam sync with AEM Infinity. Finally got it to fire. Uh, Thing sounds wicked right now. Unfortunately, um, I'd come to find out that Cylinder One uh, spark plug was actually fouled, so that's why I was camming so aggressively. I do have to my 270 cams, 8.8 millimeters of lift and on both the inlet and the exhaust, so it does have a nice slope. However, it's not that aggressive, and as of right now, I have the idle set around a thousand RPM, so I'm not going to get that big block V8 sound of a lope but you do get a nice sound coming out of it and it definitely helps in the top end. Helps it a little bit, helps it breathe a little bit. But man, it's been a long time coming. Uh, a lot of guys were asking, we're actually tuned on AM Affinity. Um, so we're gonna be getting some dyno footage here in a little bit and uh, we'll see what this thing can do. If I had to guess, it'll be somewhere around 350 with this turbo right now. Um, unfortunately, that's the limiting factor is old school turbo genetics. 60-1 uh, but I'll be looking forward to doing more than likely uh, Garrett G25 um, probably the 550 um, I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards uh, it's definitely going to spool a lot quicker and just be overall a better more reliable uh, while producing more power so basically setting the mechanical timing here I'm um, trying to get it dialed in I was messing around with it a little bit and it started uh, to overheat, but that's simply because the timing was so aggressive that um, I was getting too much heat. It was getting heat soaked. So, I really can't believe it's um, come to find out, I ended up having to uh, adjust the throttle linkages as they were bleeding a little bit of air in, allowing the thing to idle up. And I was trying to pull time in order to hit its targeted idle speed. So it was starting to get quite hot at that time. So. Just doing a little bit of more mapping, trying to get the same to at least be drivable so I can load it on the trailer uh, to take it over to the dyno. AM Infinity, I, I definitely like it. This is my first time messing with it. nice 332 wheel horsepower pull it's not necessarily the 350 I was thinking it would be but pretty close so All right guys, so this is gonna wrap up today's uh, Donna session. Unfortunately, we're stuck where we are. 
uh, the limiting factor is that Turbonetic 60-1. So here, shortly in the future, I'm going to be upgrading to the Garrett uh, G25 Turbo and uh, hopefully come back and see what we can do.